shit. I got a full clip, cocked and loaded, ready to start the movement. We doing it to the music, showing them what our views is. Why television to give them the news? It's pep love and a sinister pusher, man. Bringing the plan to my people that wish to stand. We taking a position and representing all the voices of dissension. Listen. Turn off a television, intellectual vision, and burning the ashes. The fascists making passes, no access to the masses. Let you kiss the NASA, the pages missing at the classes. Brainwashing cash. Yes, more the heads like clay. Reason they fought was strictly for the pay. Forced to stay on a platoon through August and June. Tell us how to get us in the pipe. Have the same. Soon watch them follow. Already began in the triple stage tonight. Things were going on until the break of the morning. Stars were being born and angels blowing their horns. It was all right, all digging all night till mankind hit the planet like a landmine. And the story kind of started somewhere in the garden. There was a lonely man with a hard dick who gave up the rear for him to have a woman who would raise up his kids but didn't see the snake coming. Since then, we've been living in sin. And you can blame it on the snake or the women and men. I blame it on me pipping my pen. I blame it on the radio and that bullshit they play again and again. That's why we get in the movement, moving so we can get in the groove and bring a little improvement. Slave ships to freedom to civil rights. Now we fight for the power till shit is right. Blues, jazz, the bump, the hip hop. We keeping it moving, the movement don't stop. Again, we just sit back in. Hey, my name's James McKnight. I'm writing a book called Misspent Summers, uh, which is basically a guidebook about Morsine in the Alps, but kind of more of an in-depth look at the characters, the people that live in Morsine, the people that make the town what it is. I've kind of covered the, the area of Morsine not through maps and not through shitty little write-ups, you know, sort of how to get to the trail and little markers along the trail and all that sort of shit because you can just find that on the internet you can you can just type into Google you know how to get to a certain place and it'll tell you or you can go to a guide in Morsi and they'll tell you how to how to go to a certain place so more of the point of the book is to look at these people because there's this big group of people now in Morsi who who have sort of come along the way they've kind of carved their path through life and now they're making their living in Morsi and they're basically they're they're fundamental reason for living is to have fun, like to ride the bikes and then for some of them in winter to snowboard, for some of them to go to other places to ride the bikes but the main thing is that they make a living uh, to ride the bikes. They don't ride the bikes as a hobby, no, it's their whole lifestyle. Um, so the group of people are basically some people I've grown with, I've sort of I met these guys, I met some of them when I was sort of 15, I met some of them, you know, only a year or two ago, but they've all sort of come to the same point in their lives where they're making a living out of what they're doing. Um, for instance, you know, it's like some of them are builders, some of them are bike shop mechanics, but all at the same time they manage to just get out every day, they ride the bikes. Every weekend that they can, they'll go to a race and, you know, Every second of the day is spent thinking about bikes. So I wanted to show people, people in Britain and, and further afield, like, you know exactly how you can live for your bikes. Where I was going with this book is that these guys have inspired me throughout my life and will continue to inspire me. And I wanted that to be for everyone really, that inspiration. I mean, I know there's millions of people like these guys out there. But these are just one prime example of how to live your life and I wanted to make basically an inspirational guide to becoming a pikey bum like these guys. So hopefully that's what I've done and hopefully everyone will like that. Cheers.